today I'm going to talk about annoying people on public transport and just public transport in general. Uh, so I'm just going to go on with it. Always one bus in your little area that everybody hates getting on because you know full well that the smelly person is going to be on it. They usually come on with a tinny, you know, a kind of special brew. They can't really speak proper English because, well, they're usually intoxicated by this point. It's usually around half three, four in the afternoon near the front. But the problem being is that smell then drifts throughout the whole bus and you can tell people who come onto the bus, they're like... <coughs> Everyone else is just like... Oh, I get sick, I get sick. But I'm always a lucky one that gets them right in front of me and or sitting next to me. Don't know whether I just have a sign on, sign on my forehead saying, come sit next to me, I'll open you with welcome arms. No, no. Welcome you with open arms. That was wrong. <laughs> Let's do it. Go away. It's raining. Go outside of a wash. Why do we smell of urine, excretion and vomit all in one? How can one person smell like that? Just go and have a shower. Do you know what I mean? If you've got a kind of special brew, you can afford to miss this bus, walk in the rain and buy a bar of soap. I know, oh go to your local leisure centre. They've all got bloody showers there. Who talk to you when you've got your earphones in so you'll be sat there and you'll be like yeah booming yeah you know and you're looking out the window and because you purposely don't want to speak to these people it's usually when you're either hungover or you're just really not in the mood you're not in you're not a people person that day there's always that one person who comes in and you lock eyes with them worst thing you can do oh excuse me um I didn't realise you had your headphones in. <laughs> um, do you have the time? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's ten, ten to ten. Oh, thanks. Brilliant, thanks. Sorry, thank you, thank you. It's alright, no worries. Yeah. Can I just um, ask you what, like, whereabouts this, this train goes to? Birmingham. Excuse me, um... Well, trust me again, I'll probably punch you in the face. Bit too much. You know I mean? You can, they can see you've got your headphones in. Just, just, it just baffles me, some people. Baffles and baffle. On your train and they have like, excess bag baggage and there's like umpteen seats around you. There's so many seats that you're like, this is fine. I've got my own space. They won't need to come and sit next to me. No, no, they will. <laughs> if you're at a table, you're in the worst look you can possibly have. You've picked that table, you're not gonna keep that table for the rest of the journey. Did you not bring any kind of form of reading material for yourself? Or do you not have a phone that you can look on? I'm, I wasn't your friend and I'm not now. Go away. I hope you liked the video. If you did, can you please give it a thumbs up? That'd be fantastic because it really lets me know that I'm doing something that people want to see. Um, subscribe. I'm doing this because I don't know what why you're looking at this video. It could be up there, it could be down there. Just, just, just subscribe. That'd be fantastic. And um, I also have a Facebook page now and an individual YouTube account, Twitter. Give it a follow and subscribe and just share the video amongst all your friends. It helps me. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.